Welcome back to my channel, LR Retro. Now, we will review the next chapter of Grappler Baki, the prehistoric pickle arc. It's the chapter where Arachi Katsumi finally fights the prehistoric man pickle. Do you think Arachi Katsumi can take him down? Let's find out. But first, please know that you can buy the new Grappler Baki volume collections, Baki the Grappler Season 1 and 2 DVDs, and Bandai's Grappler Baki figurine on the link on the description below. By buying, you can help the channel grow and release more Baki videos. And for my Oliva and Yujiro tier patron for this month. Shout out to you, Stranger Dragons Prevail, Joshua Ash, Mars Kane, Claudio Aguilera, Francisco Carrillo, Jaden Robinson, and Tarek Abujabur. With all that done, let's now begin. The chapter starts with Arachi Katsumi thinking. Seiken Choden Tsuki. A regular middle punch. Everything starts with this simple technique. If you join a dojo, this is what you will learn on the first day. The most basic move on the Japanese style of karate. It is now beyond the realm of techniques. And has come to a more of a symbol. Now, that symbol became. The war cry, 55,000 strong. Ready to strike Itsumi. The Shinshinkai members of Tokyo. All 220 branches of the clan are here. Its members number are almost 55,000. Maybe more and they want to give their new young master a good charge. Even though it's early. All of them gathered at the Tokyo Dome. Even just a breath could become a huge impact when there are 55,000 of them. At the command of their leader, Atsushi Suedo. In perfect coordination. They are pumping up their own fighting spirit. Hold hard over their boss. Even Retsu and Kaku Kaio are joining the crowd. This young master has grown old enough to withstand the burden of high expectations. All of a sudden, Sueto ordered all the Shinshinkai students to stop. Katsumi then thinks. You are there huh? You can't wait. Then come out right now. Without any hesitation, Pickle quickly tried to attack Katsumi after being released from his cage. But the young prodigy managed to attack him with multiple barrage of strikes. That includes the upper goose, the tongue root, lightning, night glow, and the hiding rabbit. It's a combination of five straight blows to his vital points. However, Pickle is not hurt by those techniques. He quickly rashed towards Katsumi once again. But Katsumi does a traditional karate stance. And he kicked Pickle in the family jewel at the speed of sound. Right on. Straight to the groin. But that's not all. Katsumi followed up with a devastating knee strike to the chin. Takigawa commented. Wow. Is this the power of Katsumi Arachi? I don't remember him being so strong. Baki added. Yes, it's true. Somehow, he has gotten so much stronger. Then Pickle smiled. He is smiling. Retsu then thinks. All the sonic attacks were delivered at full power. As fast and hard as it can possibly be, but. This is Pickle. The strongest from the Jurassic period. The resistance and endurance that his body possess. Can't even be compared to those of a normal human being. He's going for a straight kick. Head on. He's not faking it. Then Pickle casually kicked Katsumi in the body. Luckily. The karate master managed to block it. However, he still got blown away really far. They say that at that very moment, all the audience in the arena was silent. Speechless. To them, kicking a man is an everyday routine that doesn't have too many surprises. But karate Kaz would know the boundaries of common sense. They know how far a man can be tossed by receiving a kick at full speed. In this case of Katsumi, the distance he flew was beyond their common sense. Katsumi then thinks. Just like being hit by an 18-wheeler at full speed. My defense was perfect, but the pain from the damage is almost killing me. But still, this body absorbed it and keeps standing up. The body that my parents blessed me with. The special way to stand up in pain. And Oppo, the father that gave it to me. Me, the one who is standing up against all odds. And Natsui, the mother who encouraged me to do so when everyone told me to give up on it. To my four parents. Dead and alive. If you can hear me. I thank you, from the bottom of my heart. From this moment on, the smile of Pickle disappeared for the rest of the match. Instead, something terrifying was hidden inside of him. He changed in unexpected ways. Katsumi was not a fun friend to play with anymore. Right now, he has just become. His prey. In the ancient times. When dragons would stride around. In a place. Far far away. There's a lot of formidable enemies. Only formidable enemies. 
were his prey because no one were above them. The absolute law of predator hunts weaker prey. He alone kept fighting against a law determined by God. The only worthy prey are those that come attacking. The only rule he self-imposed in the midst of the lawlessness and his own pride. And now, just as it has been on that time, another formidable enemy emerged in front of him, causing him to get ready. The time to play is over. This little male creature, without changing his figure or his size, has just revealed his gigantic fangs. Just like an immobile form of life could suddenly transform itself. Just like a bland and limp creature could suddenly discharge a fatal liquid. Besides on his small body size, his fighting potential must be. Maybe just like. Takigawa then said. Baki. Look at that. Pickles stance. Yeah. It's just like the one that Yujiro uses all the time. More or less. What happened to you, Katsumi? It's amazing that you'd acquired such potential in such a short time. Then Retsu questioned. Master Kaku, what would you say? Is this fight getting even by now? What do you think about Pickle? Based on what you have seen so far. Kaku Kayo replied. If it was me. The one that is fighting over there. I would rather. Stop my heart on the next swing without hesitation. Calm and determined. Now. The prodigy Arachi Katsumi managed to land his full-powered mock punch on Pickle's body. What passed on the back of Pickle's mind was existential transience. The penetrating shock. The power of the true mock fist that resembles the ancient tyrant's blow. The iron tail of his strongest enemy. The T-Rex. The mock fist was so powerful that a shockwave has traveled across the arena. Even the strongest primitive man has been hurt by the prodigy's punch making Pickle fall on his knees for the first time. With the fall of Pickle, the 55,000 Shinshinkai students can't hold their excitement. The support for their Grand Master has covered the whole arena. What do you think of this chapter? Do you think Arachi Katsumi can now finish off the fallen prehistoric man? Comment down your opinion below. Special thanks to Stranger Dragons Prevail, Francois, The Real Zurvan, A Patreon of the Uts, Jacket, Johnny Might, JJF, OK, Vega Punk, Isom Harris, Awesome Swaceable, Trond Becker, Will, Thomas West, Casey, Dead Fox 0606, John Vinovich, Ahmed Zoyer, Joshua Ash, Aiden, Mars Kane, Claudio Aguilera, Francisco Carrillo, Jaden Robinson, Carlos Rios, Reiner Braun, Tarek Abujabur, and Brennan. We really appreciate your help. If you want to support my channel, please subscribe to my Patreon, L. Arshion. I will put a link in the description below. Our next video will be about the fall of the prehistoric man pickle from the karate prodigy Arachi Katsumi. Stay tuned.